All right, all right. Welcome once again. This is stage eight of what is the hero's journey. Stage eight, I've been moving through the hero's journey as created by Joseph Campbell, and then as applied to Hollywood and productions that are creative in any sort. So a memoir, a novel, a screenplay, anything along those lines that are creative in nature can use the hero's journey as a structure. So if you want to work on your own screenplay or your own creative production, get a hold of me. I have the hero's journey worksheet in which will strengthen your writing and I can coach you to improve. Stage eight for this particular episode, that's stage eight, the ordeal. Everything within the first act and beginning of the second builds up to the ordeal, which is the first real conflict that the protagonist must face. What is the ordeal? It's the midpoint of your story where your protagonist faces their greatest conflict yet. The protagonist has gone through the necessary trials and tribulations that prepare them for what they believe will be the ultimate test they face within their journey thus far the ordeal. As they approach the inmost cave of their story, we've learned everything we need to know about how they plan to handle the situation. But once they begin their approach, everything goes haywire. Unexpected setbacks occur. What they thought they knew was either wrong, misinterpreted, or has evolved into a far more difficult conflict than they could have ever imagined. This is the point of the story where the protagonist and their allies, if any, face their greatest challenge thus far, usually amid great consequences. Sometimes it's life or death. Other times it's a metaphorical version of those stakes. This is when the protagonist hits rock bottom, making them, as well as the reader and audience, feel as if they are at the dark end of their days. There are three ways that you can create the best ordeal within your story. Number one, write the ordeal as if it was the climax of the story. Just because the ordeal is the midpoint of your story doesn't mean that it can't pack a punch. In essence, the ordeal is a false climax. In Star Wars, as Kenobi goes off to deactivate the tractor beam so that they can escape, Luke, Han, and Chewbacca discover that Princess Leia is being held on the Death Star with them. They rescue her, survive a hopeless situation within a trash compactor, and then escape to the Millennium Falcon, hoping that Kenobi has successfully deactivated the tractor beam. Kenobi later sacrifices himself as Luke watches Darth Vader strike him down. As a bonus, get in touch with me and I can show you that exact scene so you can see it for yourself. This sequence feels like the end of the great space opera, but it's really launching us towards the true climax to come, the Battle of Yavin as the rebellion takes on the galactic empire in an epic space battle. The ordeal represents what the protagonist believes is the final confrontation between themselves and the conflict that has rocked their ordinary world. In Mission Impossible, the plan to perform a heist within the CIA headquarters is worthy of being one of the most thrilling heist climaxes of all time. A bonus, part one and part two of these scenes. Get in touch with me and I'll send them so you can see them. But it's really just the midpoint of the story that launches us forward with even more conflict to deal with. In Lord of the Rings, Fellowship of the Ring, Frodo and the rest of the Fellowship are forced to fend off hundreds, if not thousands, of orcs within Moriah. They even have to deal with a towering cave troll. When they finally defeat the cave troll, orcs are about to overrun them until their numbers are scattered as the Balrog appears. Gandalf fights the Balrog and casts him into a chasm. However, the Balrog drags Gandalf down with him to his apparent death. Also, part one and part two of these scenes. Get in touch, I'll show you those. It's hard to believe that this isn't the climax of the film. When you develop the ordeal within your story, write it as if it be the exciting climax of any other great novel or movie. When you do that, you're retaining the interest of the reader and audience through the most difficult part of your story, the second act. And it works in any genre. 
The ordeal can be a moment where the protagonist believes they are facing their greatest physical or emotional challenge, but then everything goes wrong, despite what they've learned through tests they've undergone in their journey. Two, kill the protagonist's darlings. Allies and mentors, mentors are the rock for most protagonists. They offer emotional and physical support. Mentors offer the hero the knowledge and perspective that they need to take on whatever conflict they're forced to face. The ordeal is all about taking your protagonist to their lowest of lows so that they can rise up and be resurrected in such a way that they can truly handle the major conflict once and for all. And whatever way to take them as low as they can go, then killing their allies and mentors. In Jaws, Brody loses both his allies and mentors in Hooper and Quint. During the ordeal of that story, the shark attacks the shark cage and Hooper is thought to be lost. Can show you that scene. Soon after, as their now sinking boat takes on water, the shark attacks and kills Quint, leaving Brody all by himself. I can show you that scene. Note, the ordeal in Jaws comes a little bit later than the midpoint of the story. There are always variances within story structures. Brody is now tasked with taking on the shark all by himself. When you take away beloved characters, you create an empathetic reaction for the reader and audience. This leads to cathartic moments that make your story even more memorable and engaging. We feel for the protagonist because we've fallen in love with these characters. We rely on them just as the protagonist does. Kill your darlings. Three, give opportunities within the ordeal for the protagonist to be resurrected. Two, hero's journey stages away from the ordeal is the resurrection. The climax where the hero faces their final test, using everything they have learned to take on the conflict once and for all. Within that resurrection, your protagonist needs to have a moment of transformation. But before that transformation can occur, something has to push them to the brink, to their lowest point. While losing an ally or mentor can help set the stage for the need for them to transform so that they can handle the final test, we need more. They need to lose hope, courage, or strength to carry on. The reader and audience need to feel as there's no returning to the ordinary world because that is how bad things are. In Jaws, we know that Brody is afraid of the water. This character trait is showcased time and again throughout the story. He's lost allies and mentors, yes, but now he must face his greatest fear from his ordinary world, the water. Not to mention the giant shark that is coming to eat him. The ordeal within that film sets up a necessary transformation that must occur before he can face his fear of the water and kill the shark once and for all. Inject characterization throughout the first and second act of your script that can help you showcase a powerful transformation that will keep the reader and audience invested, engaged, and compelled. The ordeal is the midpoint of your story that works as a false climax taking your protagonist to the depths of its despair. It offers you the ability to create an engaging midpoint climax that takes you into the third act. It ups the stakes within your story by taking away beloved allies and mentors, and it sets up the necessary transformation that your protagonist must go through in order to prevail. Now I've got bonuses I can send, all those clips where you're seeing the examples laid out in front of you and you can see them for yourself in this particular stage as in the other. And if you have not contacted me for the Hero's Journey Worksheet, do so. That will help your writing and improve the structure of your particular piece. Well, that's it for this particular episode and this particular stage. Until next time, take care. See you then. Deus Volk.